On Stage's Reggae Month feature, Sing the Icon, is brought to you in part by the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport and by Red Stripe Tall Boss, the same red stripe now available in another size. The big daddy of DJing and rapping, you Roy, is who we sing in this, the final of our Reggae Month series, Sing the Icon. And doing the honors are Josie Wales, an icon himself, and Michigan of Michigan and Smiley Thing. Also on our stage this week, Africa's leading man in the sound clash arena, Dynamic. This as the South Sudanese gets ready for Bass Odyssey annual sound fest in capital Kingston. Odyssey's first lady, Yannick Walford, will also be here. All coming up. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. On stage with Winford Williams. On stage's Reggae Month feature, Sing the Icon, is brought to you in part by the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport and by Red Stripe Tall Boss, the same red stripe now available in another size. Base Odyssey renews its annual sound fest this weekend in Kingston, Jamaica. On our stage right now to chat the sound fest is Bass Odyssey's first lady, Yannick Walford. Yannick. Winford. Welcome. Good to have you. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Finally indeed. You would have grown up uh, in a sound system world. Yes. Yes? Could you share for us your, your own perspective on that, that experience for you? Because a woman... Well, uh, I can say my father at first, I would say that he was over the moon, that his daughter is into sound system culture at that level. But um, for me, I, I really just love music. Mm -hmm. And from there, I learned that the sound system was actually invented in Jamaica and gave us this music that I love so much, which is Jamaican yes. music. My grandfather did jukeboxes, you know, where you punch in and get sung, you know. Okay. Then my father built cassettes, you know. Mm -hmm. And growing up, you have a record and record box all over the place. So it is natural for me to love and celebrate and want to share sound system culture. Yes. And, and you're now the, the boss. <laughs> but, uh, hence, I'm, I'm calling you first the lady. Yes. Well, I, so, I do work with my brother and my father. Yes. We're still pretty much a family-run business. But um, I would say, yes, I'm at the helm of definitely sound fest. Mm -hmm. It being a brainchild, something I've played around with to create since my teenage years. Mm -hmm. So bringing this thing here to Kingston, the city of birth of sound system is emulated. Like when you say some things people dream about, this is something I would have dreamt of growing oh, up. Right. No, oh, yes. Not a little scared? <laughs> um, I think I'm most excited. Yeah. Actually, I say I know I'm most excited when I have a little jitters. Mm -hmm. um, and what calms me is focus. It's a man's world. Is it? And you're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Speak to that a little bit for us. People call me an alpha, so I think that helps to be in a very male-driven and not feel. Because based on this, of course, is a, is a clash zone. And it, it's not just sound system like juggling. So being a woman at the head of that space, definitely having a personality that is forward and bold has helped me. Mm -hmm. and, and really and truly not enough fear me, you yeah. know. So um, it is going in that passion and that alpha and that no fear and wanting to do something great mm -hmm. that I would say propels me to, you know, no fear is not at all. All right, so speak about the, 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 the festival now. Mm -hmm. So many years now. This will be six years. Where it started, of course, I would have to talk about Squingy, Rest in Peace, who used to do a big dance yes. um, in St. Deco. 
And when he passed, I was just out of my teenage years, really, and wanted to continue this thing that Alexandra and the sound around the areas looked, like, looked mm -hmm. towards, as it was a big dance. When I did the first staging, which was 2011, I was keeping a dance to carry on something that was before me. And within that, I saw potential. So the first year I went on tour um, with Bass Odyssey, I went to Europe and experienced the festivals there. And then coming back and coining that experience with wanting to put sound system at the middle and the center of Jamaican entertainment, come back and I said, Daddy, <laughs> I beg you a thing for do a thing, you know. And he's like, all right, let's see what you're thinking. As I have to definitely bring, like my father, despite his hesitancy at first, having his daughter in dance hall center, was like, all right, sound good, let's see. And a lot of it is because he's really been behind me regardless of whatever, you know, is the, you know mm -hmm. and been there to support these ideas that I had. Came down now to the coast and um, string up, and I was like, one thing that has to be standard is that the sound systems have to string up, like the physical boxes that we see on Jimmy Kennell or Grammys or whoever it is, Rihanna dancing, mm -hmm. when they're representing dance hall, there's always sound boxes in that clip. If we yeah. think about it, even the Adidas commercial, it's there. Bring up on what well, I think was Salem Lighthouse at the time. And I remember people said to me, say, you sure you want to carry it down there? I said, I'm not sure, but I got to do it, you know. Mm. And I remember by 10 o'clock, nobody could hold in that lawn. Like literally the highway is where people just park uh -huh. and because, you know, it's so loud. It, that is what it became. And I was like, this is a festival. Mm -hmm. And then the following year, we got Marion Hall. I was like, we have to add some femininity to it. Because that. You mean Lady Saw? Lady, yes, yeah, she was Lady Saw at the time. <laughs> Not yeah, Mary. It was Mar Mary well, Mary, Mary, Mary. It was Lady Saw, <laughs> the, the queen of dance hall course, at the yeah. time. And I remember as it went on and curated over the years, where I'm like, okay, what else needs to come in and highlight it from the space? And sound system authentically now is, a lot, is very male supported. Mm -hmm. So you would have a lot, like, even come a dance, you got sound dance and string up your usually find a ratio of two to one. So <laughs> ladies, there'll be also a man there on Saturday. Mm -hmm. But over the years, that's what it's been. And I was like, all right, you need to balance so because you know, man and woman have to balance for the thing nice. And that is where I was like, all right, ladies saw would headline this sound system male thing. And it, we went across the street, it was a bigger venue. Same thing happened again the next year. So I'm going to go over Grizzlies, which wasn't Grizzlies at the time. I link up with Mr. Brian. And same, so I tell him my idea. At that time, it's just grass and fatty leg and thing. I don't know if you know what it was, mm -hmm. what it of is. Course, yes. And I remember even my sound crew came down and them filling in a hole with, with stone and thing to make sure because by the time people come, it looked nice. We made it very pretty. And, and I say pretty in the sense that it is not the norm for a dance. Yes. But still, it's standard, the boxes must be in there. So now we put in premium production in a dance hall setting or a dance hall setting in a premium, whatever it is. And I decide, say, oh, you know what, when I see a Europe, we in Jamaica deserve yeah, it because we right. create it. Because you had seen that. I've seen it and I've seen the possibility and I've also know that, yes, we share it, mm -hmm. but it belongs to us. And in order to, to claim it, we have to own it. Yeah. Um, pandemic came, and n pandemic done. Came back to the table, August 2022, 20, and it went to two nights for the Saint Anne staging where there's a sound clash, where sound systems actually string up. Oh. And then sound fest there is more of a, a fun vibe on the Saturday night. From day one, I knew I wanted to bring it to Kingston. Mm -hmm. I always knew that. There's a venue on Spanish Town Road somewhere that I have a picture of since I was like 15. I mean, I said, I forgot to put something in there. So that's where that idea started and came from, came to town. I have a brother-in-law that does events here. He does yesterdays and some other things. And of course, I'm going to tell him this idea I have because it's always about sharing this idea. And I think he's mad enough like me and say, yo, you need to do it. And decided Sabana Park was stringing up these sounds. We're bringing in the international acts to show Jamaicans how it is that it has been replicated and done abroad, but here is where they're coming to celebrate it. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what is happening on Saturday. I will also say that one of the things that is very, that led even this, that made me, you know, make me go harder um, in the islands, because I know a lot of times we talk about Europe, so we might talk about the Californias, and we talk about these big festivals, and we don't talk about the, the Africas, no. Or we talk about, and not even so far, I'm going to come closer to home now, the Antigua, the Trinidad and Tobago, the Guyana. And we go into what is a smaller population, 
with sound system as headliners and ram their stadiums mm -hmm. like cock and have their corporate sponsors or their legs of corporate sponsors that are in Jamaica. But their representatives in these islands come on in a way that allows them to go inside stadiums and mm -hmm. cock it with just sound systems and headliners. And being at base of this is him, I saw that. So I'm like, why is it? And I don't want to say can't because it, we never did it. So I'm like, well, let's do it and see. Yes. Let's give Jamaica their opportunity to ram places like Sabina Park for their own thing. Mm -hmm. And that is why it's $2,000. Because it's for the average Jamaican to come enjoy them thing where they have been supporting over, like sound system is alive because of the average working class Jamaican. Mm -hmm. So when we make it nice, and we say it look good, then then we can get front row center. Do you see more women coming? To definitely. attending these days, yeah? Um, definitely, there's been more women, um, which is very, it has been an indicator for me to say, keep going. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, there's been growth, um, not just in parties. So, for example, we did a sound clash as one of the lead up events at UTEC. And when I tell you, front row center, I hear lovely female ladies, you know, make up beer nice on a pipe. I, mean, I said, this is it. Of course. And we did a clash as well, a lead up at UE. Because mm -hmm. on, on Saturday night, a UE DJ actually faces off with a UTEC. So they won the separate battles on their campuses and then going up at 11 p.m. at Soundfest. Mm -hmm. Because Soundfest should also act as a bridge from, yes, the 60s when Jaro played for Emancipation to 2023 when Jaro is going to open the lawn with rubber dub because you have to warm the lawn. Mm -hmm. But at 11, you have what we we'll say is the next generation that has to be involved for it to continue because we cannot preserve something if the youths are not involved. But we have to give it to them in a way that they enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're going to shove down things that show that used to happen in the 80s when we never know where I was at that time. So it's looking at what is now, looking at what has gone, the nostalgia, the 90s band like dancing, 90s dance hall. And I said it this morning where, you no know, love till we say, at the best time, right? Nothing like the 90s dancer when poor me, even probably grade one, somewhere they saw. And I'm like, you cannot tell me it's the best if you don't show me that it is the best. And that is what Soundfest is, giving you these instruments that were curated to play Jamaican music. And it's not nothing that built from when I can tell you, Bass at DC is up to date from every speaker, Twitter, app, whatever. And that is what you're, what you're getting now from sound systems is the latest technology. It has just been built in a way to play Jamaican music, and that is what is on Showcase Saturday. Mm -hmm. And um, it is very affordable, so more everybody come. Yes, I want everybody to come, but I also, beyond that, I want Jamaicans to see their product as premium. And I'm saying when we come in more on it, it can only get bigger. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday, you come to witness one part of an example, a prototype of what we can do to make this thing what we know it can be. Wow. <laughs> wow, so much. So much, and I know my time probably up, but if you leave me alone, I talk till morning come. <laughs> we have to bring you back, you know, Yanni, because uh, there's so much more I'd like to ask you. But I'm going to leave that, because... <laughs> I will leave that for when you come back. I'm not going to rest. We're going to find a reason to bring you back. <laughs> and that reason will be, who is she otherwise? So then, Yannick, what I'm going to do is leave the rest for when you come again. Yes? Okay. And what I'm going to promise our viewers right now is who's coming next. All right? A man from the continent of Africa, speaking of Africa. He is actually the leading selector, DJ and sound clashing on the continent of Africa. Next. On Stage with Winford Williams. On Stage's Reggae Month feature, Sing the Icon, is brought to you in part by the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport and by Red Stripe Tall Boss. The same red stripe now available in another size. Dynamic, who is no stranger to Jamaica, 
is one of the international performers in Jamaica at the moment for Bass Odyssey Sound Fest and is joining us right here, right now, on our stage. Dynamics, sir. Blessings, blessings. Blessings, man. Welcome. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank on you. our set. You're no stranger to Jamaica. Um, where it's, it's, have you been to Kingston before? Yeah, I was here a few years ago. Yes. I uh, participated at the Boom Clash, All Star Sound Clash. Yes. And uh, I've been here quite a few times, probably like three times. Before your exponential rise, I right. suspect. It was no. it before your rise, because to me, your, your rise is, is very recent, your explosion in the world. Yes. Uh, Thanks As to Bass Odyssey because they were the first to bring me to Jamaica. Okay. And uh, my first time coming to Jamaica was actually at a Bass Odyssey Sound Fest as well. Okay. Uh, it was like a dream come true because growing up in Africa, we have this. Uh, uh, any anybody that's who is into reggae and dancehall, your dream is to go to where it all began from. Yes. And and coming to Jamaica, it was. So, awesome. But you started in Africa? Yes, most definitely. Right. I started in Africa and, uh, and it's been a long journey, man. And it's South Sudan, to, yes. be, to be exact. Yes. That's where you're from. Yes, South Sudan, because we got our independence in 2011 from yes. Sudan, uh, which was before Sudan, which was the biggest country in Africa. Mm -hmm. But after the uh, division now, we are South Sudan. Your uh, impact on the continent right. is how wide, how big? I don't really like to measure it. I just look at it like a, like a blessing. I feel like my ancestors are working, use, are using me to, to keep the fire burning. I look at myself as the bridge that's going yes. to connect uh, Africans in the diaspora and Africans at home. Yes. Yeah. So how popular is Sound Clashy? It, on the continent? It is, it's growing. Yes. Uh, first, everybody was kind of afraid of it because they really thought it was disrespect amongst DJs. So what we are trying to do is, I am, I am glad that Jamaicans welcome me so I can learn more about it and take it back home and, and, and A, let them know that it's actually part of entertainment. Okay, so yeah. they, they, they were thinking that it was serious. They, they, thought, they thought it was serious. Yes, they, yeah. they, the attacks on the enemy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. would be real, uh, real, right? That they yeah. were real enemies? They, they thought the DJs really didn't like each other. Okay. And at first I thought the same, but when, once I started listening to more and more uh, mixtapes and uh, sound clash audios, and I really, I'm still learning every day. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just coming to Jamaica, like I say, it's you. You go to the studio and see this artist. It's actually a way of living. So yeah, it's so, it's interesting what you're telling us, my friend. Because <laughs> so so in Africa, people would stand off because they thought it was too violent, so yes. too too aggressive, confrontational for real. So how have you changed that? Have you been able to impact that, that old system of, of uh, the, the belief that well, they had? Well, thanks to on stage, the, when, when, I, when I had the, the battle with Jack Scorpio, that really opened up a lot of people's eyes. Yes. You know, and, and the views has been going up every day. And, and you see, when, you, when I, I read the comments on there, and it's so many Africans that are like, wow, so this is, really not nothing you know personal yes and and of course the jamra cruise stage and of course now you know the base of this is sound fest it's a it's like i'd say it's a learning process and i do understand my role mm -hmm. because i i have a lot of people watching what i'm doing because i know i'm just going to be the beginning of us. so many people coming down here to do more works from africa wow yeah that sounds good my friend you have been exposed to international um, DJs from, from different cultures. All over, yeah. And races, right, that you're up against. And how do you feel about that, though? When you, when you come and see, for example, on Jamrock, 
Yeah. I was there. I saw that. And, yeah. and in fact, let us take a little piece of your performance at, J at Jam Rock. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Dynamic, you know, <laughs> in all its glory. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So the the international space for you contesting yeah. international DJs from Germany, from from Italy, from Japan. Yeah. You the first Africa to be part of that. How does that make you feel? It's unreal. Yes. If you ask me this about five years ago, I thought I would have told you you were crazy. Because, you know, I, when I perform, I perform with so much emotions. Oh, yes. So much, you know, anger, so much denial. So many doors have been shut on my face. Mm -hmm. You know, so many, so many people looked away from, from this African guy who was trying, just trying to do something. But I never stopped, you know? And uh, I'll be honest, I prayed a lot. There was times I really thought like maybe the world doesn't want a piece of Africa, you know? But I couldn't stop, you know? I just felt like I could do more. Mm -hmm. And, you know, thanks to the first time I came to Jamaica, I'll tell you, when at the base of this is sound fest, when it was my turn to play, it started raining. Yes. And everybody kind of walked away to the side. and. When I came back and I remember the first song I played was a Miriam Makeba song. It was a click song. So everybody turned around and looked at the stage like, what's happening? Because it was something that nobody was familiar with. I wanted to capture their attention first and introduce myself. And thank God, Bounty Killer was there as well. And that was his first time watching me perform. And from then we've linked and the rest is history. Ah. Yeah. Wow. And so, so how do you feel about Jamaica now? Are you more comfortable about it? This is my home. Yes. I, I feel at home. The, the first thing I do when I come to Jamaica, I want to go to the restaurant, mm -hmm. get some Jamaican authentic food. Yes. You know. I, Such as? <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite? Aki and saltfish, definitely. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying a lot of the juices. Okay. You know, because this is where the authentic... Uh, meals are, you know, and, and just walking around Jamaica. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I was in, uh, in St. Anne's, mm -hmm. just watching everybody, just, it's like I'm in a set of a movie, yes. you know, and it's, it's amazing. I, I feel like I'm at home mm -hmm. while here. Yeah. Just like we do when we travel to the continent. Certainly, yeah. yes, truly. Right. When I went to, like, South Africa. Wow. I went to the Ivory Coast. I went to Kenya. And, you know, I, I keep forgetting that I'm not in <laughs> Jamaica or some, 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 somewhere in the Caribbean. Right. Because people look like us. People walk like us. And it's when they speak, you say, oh, wow, I'm in Africa. You, yeah. you, you, keep, you keep forgetting that you're not in the West. Definitely. You know, so, and so it's, it's, I totally understand that if you now are at that point where you feel at home in Jamaica, my friend, then it goes to show the, the extent to which we need to be united. Most definitely. Most definitely. I, I strongly do believe that we could work much more together, better together. Yes. You know, and uh, this is a lot of separation between Africans at home and Africans abroad. And, and I am here definitely to make sure that people who don't know about Africa, to let them know that this is your home no matter where you are. Mm -hmm. You know, like in the words of Peter Tosh, no matter where you come from, as long as you're black, you're African. Where is Afrobeat in your catalog? In your arsenal of, of music that you will draw for in our clash, for example. 
It's, it's there. It, it really depends on the kind of crowd because, of course, as an African, everybody expects you to, to go play that. But, you know, there's so many genres. There's sukus from mm -hmm. uh, Central Africa. There's uh, genga music, which is from Kenya. There's bongo flavor. There's, I'm a piano right now making a lot of noise. So, mm -hmm. like, it's, it's, I can't just pick one as an African because I grew up listening to legends like Franco, who was a legendary musician from Central Africa, which was Zaire, you know, people like Chico Chikaya from South Africa, Sam Fan Thomas from uh, Cameroon. It's so many, so many musicians that we grew up with. So uh, we, we are just happy now that the world is celebrating Afrobeat, but yeah. at the same time, we don't forget that every dog has its day, you know? Just mm -hmm. like they're celebrating us, they can drop us anytime and mm -hmm. pick up somebody else. So, but we just want to make sure that everybody understand this is all a part of us. And the, this is the thing about Africa being the home of reggae. Oh, that reggae came from Africa. Right. You must have heard that. So many times. Yes. How do, what's your position on that, on that? Definitely reggae belongs to Jamaica. Yes. With no doubt, no questions. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it, a lot of people fail to understand Reggae is a music for, of, uh, of the strugglers. It's, it's the music of the, of the freedom fighters. Yes. And, and, and the way we connect to it, we use it to inspire us. I feel like reggae was, was the calling of Jamaicans to wake Africans up as well. Yes. And it's, it's all, we're all one. Yeah, but don't you, because some of us, myself included, yeah. I believe the, the DNA of reggae is from Africa. Most I definitely. Mean, if we understand our history, we will have to credit Africa for the rhythms, the rhythms of, of, of music, pop right. music itself. So, if, so I think that when somebody says that reggae is from Africa, I, can't, I, I wouldn't debate that. I, I would say we are definitely... The rhythms of Africa came with us. Right, right. It's in our DNA, it's in our blood. We, we, we play a role in that, but at the same time, I think what, what Jamaicans did, they perfected it. Yes, the, 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 the genre yeah. itself, and it's, and it's on our list. Nobody's taking anything from those great men who put yeah. this thing, who, brought, who made reggae. Right. Okay, at the, at the turn of the 60s, late 50s into the, the turn of very the 60s. True, very Nothing true. Nothing is going to be taken from them. So the, it's not about that. It's about the, the rhythms, the rhythms that we have as a people who were, were taken, stolen, you could right, say, right. From, our, from the continent where we were rich in the rhythms very rich. of Africa. And you see it being expressed a lot in, in, the, in the West where black people are, okay? And when you go to Africa, you can relate immediately with the sounds of right Africa. Away. Right we away. We can relate immediately. So there's no question. I, I don't even think there's a debate about that. That's why I really, education is very important. Yeah. Not only education in school, but education culturally, education uh, with the way people grew up. That's why I really urge a lot of our brothers and sisters abroad to really look deep into African music, not only the Afrobeat. Yes. Look into all, uh, all, all, all parts of Africa. You will find yourself in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we must remind the people that they, it's a, it's a continent. Yeah. With many, many countries. Many. And languages. And even sub and cultures. Yeah. Um. South Sudan alone has sixty-five tribes. Ah. And I speak four different languages fluently. And uh, it's just, I look at it like, wow, it's, you know, I, I didn't realize that until I started coming to the Western world and seeing that, hey, I could speak a couple of different languages and, you know. So I always say, Umon Khan Gali Junubin Magdur Wasul Mahal Lakin Alila, I will mention the venue I am. Mm -hmm. That is definitely saying they never thought we would make it anywhere in life because, you know, most of us, about 90% of us grew up in the refugee camps. Mm -hmm. Even till today, there's still people living in the refugee camps. And that's why I, I take this sound system thing very serious. And I'm learning a lot. I, I, it's a way of life. You know, it's a, 
people make a living out of this. Yes. And, and of course, there's, there's not a lot of opportunities back home. So, you know, I'm hoping I, I can go back home and teach the youths about this great thing called dance al reggae sound system. Ah, yeah. wow. Well, my friend, I'm, I appreciate your coming. Thank you. I appreciate you being here in Jamaica. Mm. I look forward to when you come back. Definitely. When you will perform for us. Most definitely. On our stage right here. Right here, man. All right. Dynamic, sir. Respect. Until then, I'm bless fine. you and thanks again. Thank you. All right, so there you have him in this segment of our show, Dynamic. And stay with us, still to come, singing You Roy. On Stage's Reggae Month feature, Sing the Icon, is brought to you in part by the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport and by Red Stripe Tall Boss, the same Red Stripe now available in another size. You Roy started his toasting career on sound systems at the turn of the 1960s and in a relatively short period distinguished himself as uh, the most uh, popular toaster in the dance halls of Kingston. In 1969, Roy decided to record his lyrics over some old uh, treasure isle rhythms. The result was the birth of a phenomenon. <laughs> and uh, by the first quarter of 1970, you Roy held the top three spots on Jamaica's two radio stations, RGR and JVC, where the songs like Wait the Town, Wait the town don't tell the people. Rule the Nation, Do it that, that way. Okay. Do it again. and the monster called Where You To The Ball. The entire nation was dancing, spurring a flurry of imitation DJs. In 1975, Roy dropped an album called Dread in a Babylon, followed by Naughty Rebel in 1976, where the chalice in the palace that cemented you, Roy, and DJ music on the world stage for good. We really, really, really wanna have a with you. From Josie Wales, Brigadier Jerry, Yellowman, to Beanie Man, Bounty Killer, Shabaraz, and Shaggy in Jamaican dancehall, to Run DMC, LL Cool J, Puff Daddy, Tupac, and Biggie in hip hop, You Roy is the big daddy and founding father of the style. Today we sing the icon, Daddy Roy. You Roy, led by Josie Wales, an icon in his own right, and Papa Mitchie, Michigan, of Michigan and Smiley fame. Right here, right now, on our stage. Yeah, man, respect. Bless respect, up, sir. Bless up, bless up. Thanks for coming and wanting to do this, sir. Yes. Yeah, yes. man, you're most uh, welcome. All right, so Papa Mitchie, you go up first. Daddy you Roy, Roy who's Daddy he? Daddy Roy, the inspiration for me personally, and from the age of 10, my brother and I used to work at the supermarket downtown. Mm -hmm. And on the weekends, when we, when we pass this big A betting shop, one, 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 one weekend, it's Daddy Roy at the tree top spot. My brother said, this man great. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes. So at, from that time, Daddy Roy has been an inspiration to me. Mm -hmm. And them DJ out of, out of road must understand, say, yes, where it come from? Him the godfather. Ah. Daddy, you Roy. And Josie? Well, well, my experience with you, Rai, um, I'm a Tubbis fan, King Tubbis fan, yes. right? And I like the way you, Rai, is a tire. You used to wear the beaver felt and lead them felt and the stripe turning a hole mm -hmm. and the diamond socks and thing. And it was a different kind of thing where the music is concerned and it was more pronounced and precise and his words was more fluent than the mm -hmm. average, even though there wasn't many DJs around competitively. Mm -hmm. But he was the king of DJ. Ah. Yes, I am. Well, gentlemen, <laughs> all that is left now is to allow you gentlemen to sing the icon, Daddy Roy, right here on our stage. <laughs> Wait the town and tell the people, Mama Miku is coming your way. Yeah! Tell the people, I gotta make this baby coming your way. Meet you gonna 
Jonesy, well, you know we got a DJ. Yeah! Remember Baba Michi. Tomorrow night, our road deeds will place called Night Chakabanda Avenue. That is Kingston 11, so I say, I say, I say, I say. Start there as a peanut man, and Jack B as a rider. Present the night card. Bubbly, day. To the gate, you know, musical sound I play. Man like Jonesy will be there, Papa Michigan, live and direct, you know. Yeah, you know, musical sounds called King Tombis I fi But are you royal at the control tower each and every hour? Admission to dance kids, so no band and we no valley, no valley, no, no way. Hey, I'ma do my mama song a little way. Come on, hey, I said shake it, baby, shake it. Shake it like you never shake before. Do it, baby, do it. I want you to do it like you never do before. Do, do, do me up, do that day. Right. Beat me up, do that day. Dabba do me up, do me up a day. Ha! Referring to society means I'm speaking of his majesty. You know? Queen Majesty, I really, really want to chat with you. Wanna come by the palace, smoke up on the chalice, could not be with your majesty. I wanna rub it with your majesty, you know, and stay with your majesty. Although you wear the crown and I wear the dread, I'm feeling kinda rich, I wanna come into the palace and lick up my chalice, dump it with your majesty. They know so many things, we dump it with your majesty. Michigan, I'm not society, yeah, now bring your dreams to reality, you know, never, ever, 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 ever could you don't do the thing that is right, good Jones, you rail on the right and everything is all right, your majesty just listen to me now, yeah, I'm now gonna jump between your majesty, yeah. I saw me see I'm gonna roll between your society, right, and now to dread is gonna dump it with your majesty, why not come up to the balance and my lick of my chalice, you know, we're the birds of my feather, but we got to stick together, love each and every one in any way down. Michigan and Daddy Josie, we gonna dump it with your majesty. Woo! Queen Majesty, really, really wanna be chat with you. I wanna come by the police and dump it from the chalice, come and dump it with your majesty. I rub and dump it with your majesty, you know. And stay with your majesty, girl. Wanna lick up the chalice in the palace, you know? And don't keep no malice, Lord. I make we dump it with society. Now you drink is gonna dump it with your majesty. Rasta man, we gonna do it. Little <laughs> thing, <God. laughs> Tomorrow night, make to the dance hall, okay? King Top is I find, say. You have caught me, baby. You have caught me. Version yellow. And you can get them more and more by the score, baby, for sure, you know. I love you so, but I will never, never let you go. And so and so. Baby, 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 baby. I wouldn't want to send me to Real and true, I'll play the song that we come down and make fun of the bitch. Gonna run the microphone, sing the DJ. Listen. We gonna have happy times together. We gonna leave. So I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Wow! When I sit far with you, the gay baby don't even be late. But this is Jonesy Bell, I'm Mr. Papa Michigan. Papa Mike, you know me, I didn't come in like a magic one. And sometimes we need you, man, and sometimes we turn on Mr. Rocky, baby, Rocky. Baby, don't shake it, baby, shake it. Shake it, baby, shake what your mama gave you. And baby, I know I really, really, really love you. And you were loving that to love the image, but I would never throw a mess thing before the crowds on me, bam, 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 mentions it. But I said, love is forever, and love is so clever. We got to stick that convertible feeder. Rebel style. Instead of fast in the fight, he want to get to get a little bit of one love and one in the Rebel in the morning, rebel in the evening too. So don't be devil. like no devil don't while you're playing like the musical team called the Rebel, y'all. I'm a rebel. 
Really, really gonna want some more. Miss for this I'm playing, you know, coming with your good yellow. Rub a dub a fling and each and every day. But God can style, you know, see that I don't we play. Can we are the gang? In a this young dance, we are the gang. In a this young dance, Michigan. And I don't claw Jones Wales. Future in daddy, you are the teacher, the godfather. Out the foundation from the initial stage of this music, so we could never refuse it. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, yo, 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 you can't do that, man. You yo. can't have liquor right the summer, you see the sound of it. Yo, yo, just bring me a cheer, no, man. My leg. Bring him a cheer, man. Why go on there, dance, man? My leg come man. Cold, man. Me I tell it, some it, man, yo, king, you can't have the liquor yeah. right the so king, you know, see the sound yeah, system man. play. Yeah, what man. What take on the man? A principle and discipline, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm bridging my way up pass in front of the sound and kick out the wire, you know. Yo, yo, you yo. Know, see it, yo, you fix a speaker box over this, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. All right, where to the bar? The steel hand up in the hockey tree. Steel hand up there, baby. Yeah, big there, there. Woo! Colonel, never tell the one, all right? Yes, I am. Let me tell the one, yeah. I'm staying. I'm gonna wear you to the bar. Tonight. Did you hear what the man say, baby? Now be your best gun, this gonna be your musical death. So come to school, let me teach you the musical room. Hit me soul brothers, dig the soul sisters. Come to wise, you make it, you make it if you try. So be wise, I'll be deadly, put on your bed. Tougher than tough and I'm dying of love Maybe because I got a musical stuff You know Chico Bowen is good I'm gonna make you the talk of the town Don't you swear and the frown Don't those other guys may put you down Sing it! I'm gonna let you wear my crown You die, you wear my crown. Chico bow, chico bow, chico bow, chico bow, wow, wow. Dig me soul, brothers, and dig me soul, sisters. She don't beg for no mercy. Turn up, we can't get this here, no? No, no. See? Run, Chichi, run. Run, Chichi, run, Chichi, run. Carolina. Let me take her. You and your smiling face. Pull up, you know what I'm saying? Pull up, pull up, pull up. You know what I'm saying? They never know you could have sing. Never know the Colonel could have sing. I and I. I know the could have sing. Papa Michi. Papa Michi. Let me tell them, say. Run, Chichi, run, Chichi, run. Run, Chichi, run, Chichi, run. Celebrating the Godfather. Now you run. Godfather DJs. You and your smiling face doesn't mean a thing to me. Doesn't mean a thing to me, you know. Because any man will pick you up just because of that smile you've got. Just be smiling, the smile that you've got. After he yeah. knows you. As much as I, as much as I, you know, he's gonna leave you. He's gonna leave you, just like I do. Just like you do, you know. Run, Chichi, run. Run, Chichi, run, Chichi, run. Run, run Chichi, run, Chichi, run. Run, run up run, and down. Chichi, run. run, Chichi, run, Chichi, run. Keep on stepping. Keep on stepping it up. Keep on stepping. Keep on stepping, keep on stepping. The smile, you are smiling there, doesn't sight me so much. Did you hear the man say? And I had a feeling.
feeling I never had before. Never had before. But it's only, 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 only. I had to run. You had to run, you know. Because it's only that smile you got. Baby girl, the smile that you got. So many little times. Round it, round it, round. Hey! Round it, round it, round. 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 Uh-uh. Musical needs from a flick of my wrist and a musical cocoa basket. So baby, we'll always love this. From man called Michigan and Daddy Jones, the real you rather teacher. Godfather, fall, Godfather, Dana, fall, Dan. Daddy, you right, you're the colonel. But it's a tribute to Daddy, you right. This is a tribute to Daddy, you right. It is a tribute to Daddy, you right, Godfather. Dana, fall, Dan. Godfather, salute. Salute. John Hart! <laughs> yes, sir. That was, that, we, didn't, we didn't see that coming, no. Reggie. <laughs> right. The Paragons were very much present in this one, Reggie. The Paragons. Yes, sir. Wow. You, Roy. Yes. Yes, sir. You have him. The sound, the delivery, Reggie. Step forward, Lloydy. Lloydy's a bad singer. Everything starts now. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. There's yeah. no foundation yeah. in our music without you, Lloydy. <laughs> <Pan. laughs> it's a pleasure for me to help to preserve this wonderful music of yes, ours. Yes, I. Oh, yeah. I do, nobody else doing it. Oh, yes. yeah. You know, so that's why I have to put in 100% each yeah. and every time. Yeah, yeah man. I'm, Thank I'm, you, Lloydy. Really little girl. You're delivering, my friend. So, so, so credit the rest of the band for Officially. me, Lloydy. Yeah, all right. This is, um, tell them your name, brother. Oh, my name is Okil McIntyre. Okay, Okil. Yeah. Yes, sir. Nico Graskoff. Same. Another future. Yes. And Whoop. our drummer oh, man. here. Yes. <laughs> Chris Durrell. Yes. And my Reggie. Earl Fitzsimmons. Earl Fitzsimmons. Earl Fitzsimmons. Earl Fitzsimmons. Good to see you. Earl Fitzsimmons. 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 Mm -hmm. it's, and it's not even voluntary service, it's, it's just a heart. <laughs> we were going a little home economics, you see? Yeah, man. So yeah. That's, it's just blessed love. We, we tore you up. Uh, and yes, yeah, yeah. I am the alarm clock also. Yeah. Because I'm the guy who wake up early in the morning at five. <laughs> the, the, the love Rasta. <laughs> wow. Oh, love. gosh, man. Love. 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 Him can cook. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. World class good chef. Yes. yes. We all of us were healthy. Yes. And we never yes. miss a gig and every gig was yes. A plus. Yes. Oh gosh. No man. respect to the person. From Master from, Chef. From Greg Rice at Dennis Brown, yeah, Bojo Bantan, Shaggy, name them. Lennox Lewis, name yes. them. Yeah, I have been the cook. I, I, the last cook World I cooked for a celebrities for um what's her name? Angel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And with the bowl with the soup, I will still use that, that um, so what do call it? Butter pan. It is a cheese can. The one that cheese come from. Oh. Okay, it's still healthy. We, we used to do lemonade and that, we call it wash. Yes. Just put in ice and squeeze Same in the lime. Plain, yes. But you have to hold, there is a certain way, to, a special way to hold it, you know. Yeah. The little finger to the below part and the thumb Shake to the top. Shake it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Jamaica? <laughs> you know? yes. Is that Jamaica? Oh, this is gosh. not seen in any other island era. Oh, only Jamaica. Only yes. Jamaica. Yeah. Well, you see, you see, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> only on our stage you get these kinds of, <laughs> of stories. You know what I mean? This is the extent yes. of the contribution made yes. by these gentlemen. Yes, I am. And why were they doing it? Yes, yes. No. They were doing it to take our music to the four corners. Yes, yes. Of 
planet Earth. Give thanks to Oh gosh. Right. Give thanks to you, right? Oh wow. Give thanks. And you know what I mean? One, I want to, I want the DJ. They must understand. Say, look here. We are friends. Yes. And enough of we are friends. Yes. Almost all of us are friends. Our friends yes. we, could all, we, could, we could all be on this stage. Yes. So when they're my first and a fight out there, yeah, they must yeah. realize say, enough of gossip. Well, unity. You and, and, and I guess because of young minds and most of the things in this world has not faced them as yet. So mm -hmm. I don't think they have, 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 have acknowledged the facts that, listen to me, we can't believe in like this because this is not right. Mm -hmm. yes. Saying? Can't believe it. But, but in due season, because we were there too, in our, in our, in our early years, even of recording, because remember that most sound system was from a specific area, they have a specific DJ, and this mm -hmm. man don't DJ over that side, and that man don't DJ over this side, because there was a segregation. That's yes. a whole different ballgame. Let us not get there. We don't mm -hmm. have the time. Mm -hmm. You see, but I must say this to you. We have made many a mistakes then, verbal mistakes mm -hmm. then. So th this is why you cannot judgment the youth them now. You mm -hmm. have to just try and curve them. See, because I sang wrong move, for King Jammies in 1987. And guess what? I have made many a wrong moves after that. <laughs> no one is perfect. See, no one is perfect. You have to just recuperate, get yourself together, stain it here in the cranium, and make sure you're doing the right thing. Because, hey, what can I say? Ah. Yeah. Well, that's a great note on which to thank you, our viewers everywhere around the planet. On behalf of all of us on this stage, Winford Williams inviting you to join us again next week for more on stage. And Lloydie, can you find something else to take us out, sir? Yeah! The ways I would say, girl, you ain't love another another. Nah, nah, you be chick, but I would never chew with a stick before we cross the river. You the only one I love, like a blessing from above. Show me to daddy, you right? Are you sing for the children? I mean, sing it again. Are you sing it again? Oh, well. Uh, oh, you and your smiling face, smiling face. doesn't mean a thing to me. That's who mean a thing to me. Any man will pick you up. Pick you up. Because of that smile you've got. Why no one stay? But after he knows you. He knows you. As much as I. He's gonna leave you. He's gonna leave you. Just like I do. Colonel. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.